And again, don't miss Nancy tonight. There's Jeff Gold, great criminal defense attorney, has been keeping an eye on this as well. First off, how, how often do we see that where the FBI opens up the tapes, opens up interrogation footage for us so the public can help out and maybe help solve uh, a past crime? Very unusual, as the agent said. I mean, usually you find the bodies and you're looking for the killer. You know, I don't, I mean, I wonder whether there are bodies. This guy said, you know, he was talking about the entertainment value of what he was doing. I mean, that certainly sounds like a serial killer. What is a serial killer? It's kind of Jody Arias times 10, right? Mm -hmm. uh, somebody who's a sociopath who can kill uh, without remorse and then do it 10 times. But on the other hand, there are no bodies. What if there aren't any bodies? I mean, it's a really big mystery, and I think the FBI wants to get to the bottom of it. They have a very unusual circumstance. They think there's crimes to be solved, and they have the key without the doors that the keys go to. So it's very unusual, Mike. You know, absolutely. When you when you look at and if you talk about the double life he led, ten year old daughter, live in girlfriend, but yet would take these trips, and it's an upwards of thirty five trips over a, roughly a decade thereabouts, and he would go as, as go dark, no cell phone, no one would know. He would use cash instead of credit cards, and, and we'll get into this throughout the afternoon as far as murder kits he would leave at different parts of the country, where he would leave large sums of cash that he got from bank robberies weapons, knives, guns, uh, a shovel, Drano, uh, things you could use to dispose of a body. So again, you talk about meticulous and planning and random victims throughout. That's what we're talking about here. And uh, to Jeff's point, point from the FBI, that's why we need your help to try and solve this. Again, a, a special on CNN, the trail of a serial killer, Israel Keys. We'll be looking at that case throughout the afternoon, then tonight at 7 Eastern. Jane Velez Mitchell looking at the evidence at 8. Nancy looks at his confessions. And then at 9 p.m. Eastern, Dr. Drew goes inside the mind of this admitted serial killer.